Hi guys, SneakyJoyce here and welcome to a video many of you may appreciate. In this video I'll tell you how to easily obtain a key for streaming to Instagram. There is a PHP script in the wild that will let you to do exactly the same but with a few extra steps. I've done a video about it on my Russian channel, but I don't think it will fit this one. However, if you're interested, you can ask me and I'll consider doing this one as well. Especially since there is no actually a good explanation on how to install this PHP script and make it work. An application we're going to use for streaming to Instagram does exactly the same. It installs the PHP script and runs it, but it hides all the process behind its interface. Before we start, I want to draw your attention to terms and conditions of this application. It may be important for some people to learn what data the application collects. You can familiarize yourself with all the data application collects in the privacy page of this website. If you don't want to share parts of your information with somebody else about your nickname, your email or something else, I definitely recommend you to check out the PHP script method and for this I ask you to leave a comment in comment section of this video so I can make another video about PHP script and the proper way of installing it. Now to start, let's download and install Yellow Deck application. Keep in mind that in current state it doesn't allow you to read chat, to store past broadcasts and also to stream for longer than an hour, but that's a basic limitation of Instagram itself. You may note that this application doesn't have any signatures, however from what I found it's perfectly safe to run despite it doesn't have a known publisher. After installation it takes some time to download extra files. And after it's finished, you can see a new desktop shortcut, which you can use to launch the application. Now let's just take a small look at what the application offers us. There is a menu bar on the top in which we can see the refresh button. This basically means that this is a small Chromium application, which covers something else. So basically this is a sort of a server, which will run on your computer and which uses PHP script, which is used to obtain the Instagram key normally. Once again guys, if you want a proper installation video tutorial, you can ask me and I'll do it. Now enter your login and password and you'll see an error. I have no idea why does it have to work this way, but you basically have to restart this application twice in order to get it working. Now after all updates are downloaded, let's try to login once again. This time you may have a prompt to confirm your device. If you are logged into an account you are going to stream to, inside the Instagram app you will see the button this was me. This is actually Instagram's way of protecting your account from getting it hacked. But that is exactly what are we trying to do. We are trying to get access to your Instagram account in order to get RTMP URL and key for streaming to your account. After confirming that all the actions which are happening to your account are wanted, you are finally able to get RTMP URL and stream key. Those are the data parts which you are supposed to use in your OBS or Restream or any other stream application. Remember that you should keep this application running while you are streaming to Instagram. If you won't, your stream will not be ended successfully. Nothing bad will actually happen, but your followers will be seeing a blank screen. Now make sure that you are using bitrate which is suitable for Instagram. In our case it's 2000 kilobit per second and also a very specific video resolution which is vertical screen, since all the streams in Instagram are done in portrait mode. Make sure to change your base or canvas resolution to 480 by 854. This is basically the best resolution Instagram can accept and if you will push anything above this, Instagram will just downscale it. I have a testing scene already set up in order to demonstrate that the stream we're getting to Instagram is actually a stream coming from my OBS. There is also one thing to do if you want your stream to be displayed properly. Disable the rescale output option in OBS if you have it enabled, otherwise your stream will be stretched and cropped. And next in streaming tab we are going to copy the RTMP URL from Instagram which Yellow Duck provides us and also the streaming key and apply all the changes. Now we can start streaming and observe our stream at Instagram. Make sure that you are logged in to another account in order to see your stream in your feed. And that's basically it. You can see that your stream is delivered to Instagram in official application and everything is working just fine. You may notice that the video quality is not perfect in Instagram, but that's just because it doesn't really support the high quality video. If you were to send a higher quality video, you would see it downscaled, so there is no actual point in giving your computer extra stress. If for some reason this application will stop working, I actually recommend you to switch to PHP script I mentioned earlier. Once again, if you'll need a working tutorial on how to make it running, please leave a comment under this video. 
This yellow duck method proved to be working and proved to be using the same data, same methods the PHP method does, so I am not really concerned about its reliability. But the PHP method still allows a bit more flexibility, it allows you to read chat, it allows you to store past broadcasts, and I'd say it's generally the better method of streaming to Instagram. But yellow duck method is easier. Once again, make sure to stream a vertical video, because if you'll be streaming horizontal video, left and right parts of your feed will be hidden from your viewer. That's all I wanted to tell you today. My name is Sneaky Joe, and if you enjoyed this video, please perform YouTube routine. It will really help me out.